Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do a transient thermal analysis in ANSYS. So let me first introduce to our problem. So we have a problem statement like this. We have to simulate this quenching process, which is a heat treatment process. So we have here is a cylindrical rod, which is placed inside this water bath. Water bath has a temperature of 40 degrees centigrade. The cylindrical rod is initially at a temperature of 850 degrees centigrade. And the dimension of the cylindrical rod is 50 mm is diameter. And the length of this rod is 2 meter. So to simulate this process, uh, we have to first make a geometry of this rod. So we can do that in design modeler or any of the software and then we can import it. So I've done that in design modeler itself. So for doing that, I made a sketch. Uh, we can sketch a circle and then I extrude it to two meter length, which is quite simple. So that how easy it is to make this cylinder. I hope it is clear. And uh, then we model this uh, for modeling. We have a module called mechanical ANSYS multiphysics. So here we give the boundary conditions mm, that would be imposing on this cylindrical rod. So as we had up in the problem that our initial temperature of the rod was 850 degrees centigrade. So we simply give here that initial temperature and that was 850 degrees centigrade. And then analysis settings. Uh, these are simply uh, for how much time or how many steps you want your results. So since I wanted uh, for say 50 seconds, so I just give here 50 seconds and I just uh, didn't change any of the default options that were program controlled. And then as mentioned in this problem statement, as you can see that here is a uh, heat transfer coefficient at the surface uh, given as 450 watt per meter square Kelvin. So I'll just use that as a convection boundary condition and say that the marked surface will undergo a convection with a heat transfer coefficient of 450 degrees centigrade from an ambient which is at a 40 degrees centigrade temperature. And then uh, after giving these boundary conditions, uh, oh, no problem with this. Sorry for it. So then we just click on the solution and since I've done this uh, simulation so I'm not when I just right click it uh, so I'm not getting an option for solve because I've already solved these equations uh, which took me a lot of time so when you do it for the first time you get a solve option uh, or you can simply click here so this is how easy you can solve the equations or solve the mathematical model that ANSYS will develop so after this you'll get your results you just open it so you can get from here uh, you can say if you want temperature or you can want heat flux or whatever you want so uh, like we demanded for 50 seconds so here you can see uh, that green line is for the maximum temperature and this red line is for minimum temperature uh, and you can just get for any of the moment that you want temperature then I can just simply click this retrieve this result at that time so this is the distribution uh, since the boundary condition was imposed at the surface that is this curved surface so here the temperature is lowest because our surrounding twist is cooler than the cylindrical rod and you can also play how the variation of temperature with time would be taking place just click this play button first slowing down and you can see that the temperature is actually going down as it must be happen so here it is 850 you can see from this legend that how the temperatures of the cylindrical rod would be going down in the quenching process Beside temperature, you can also go for other results. Such as total heat flux, heat flux in a particular direction. Or using a probe there, you can find heat flux, reaction, radiation and such things. So these are the basic steps for how to do a transient thermal analysis in ANSYS. I hope it was helpful. So subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.